The late David Wilkerson, the Assembly of God minister and founder of Teen Challenge Ministries, who was fatally killed in a car crash this last April, first published the best-selling The Cross and the Switchblade in 1963. In the first 10 years, it sold over 11 million copies. In 2006, it was ranked 32nd on the top 50 books that have shaped evangelicals by Christianity Today. The book details the true story of Wilkerson's first five years in New York City, where he ministered to disillusioned youth, encouraging them to turn away from drugs and gang violence. Since its writing, Wilkerson's ministry, Teen Challenge, has become one of the most successful recovery programs in the world. Endorsed by law enforcement and presidents alike, Teen Challenge has grown to over 195 centers across the nation and 550 centers worldwide. In Puerto Rico and parts of Africa, Teen Challenge is even building AIDS care facilities. Next Sunday, here at Desert Light, we will have Teen Challenge as our special guests in service. This presents us with a great opportunity to support a keystone mission of Assembly of God U.S. Missions, as well as a chance to invite those in our lives that may benefit from what Teen Challenge can do through Jesus Christ. Try again. Okay, church, your next family movie night will be on Saturday, July 23rd, where we will be watching the movie Soul Surfer. The movie will start about 9 o'clock, but come earlier, come about 8.30 for refreshments and fellowship. Also, church, on the 24th, that's Sunday, the 24th of July, we will have special guests in service, Teen Challenge. Coming in August, we will have a yard sale here at the church. This is a fundraiser to support our women's ministry. If you're interested in selling things at a yard sale, the cost is $25 per space by July 31st. 
The yard sale will be on August 13th, and also at the yard sale will be hot dogs and sodas for sale for $3. Also, church, remember that we are still collecting toys for our year-long toy drive. This month is Girls Toys, ages 5 through 8. For our youth, on August 6th from 5 to 9 p.m., you will have a pool party and barbecue at Connie Gross's home. You're asked to bring a side dish to share, so please see Cheryl Morales for more information. Now it's time for your Fat Toyism of the Week. An Australian atheist recently fought for and won the right to wear a pasta strainer on his head in his driver's license photo. <laughs> Why? Upon learning that confessional and religious headgear is permitted in licensed photos, Nico Alm decided to make a statement. He donned the strainer and proclaimed pastafarianism as his religion. It took three years, but the license has now been authorized. All right, Desert Light, that looks like it's about it. Remember to check out Desert Light. AG.org for all your church related news and happenings.